Greetings, everyone. So we're going to do a soul check, a.k.a. Um, teachable moment. Soul check, soul check. So that was the strength card that fell. Hold on one second. Pause. Unpause. Yeah, so we have the number 11 and we have earth energy. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Or you could be getting very grounded or you need to ground yourself in this situation. So we're going to get a soul check. We're going to get a little bit of detail of what this could be entail uh, and some guidance. Yeah. <laughs> so take a deep breath in. Get your confirmations. Get your signs ready. It may come out in this reading. And if it don't, that's okay. It may not be the reading for you. But you are welcome to stay and listen. You guys, I'm bumping my new setup. You know how it goes. We have synthesize. I'm going to keep that. And we have compassion. Okay, so <laughs> thank you guys so much for making it possible for me to cop this deck on site. New deck alert. I was drawn to it. Haven't heard from it. Have it I, I never seen this thing before, this deck before, but I was drawn to it and I'm very proud that I purchased it. So you guys, thank you so much for making that possible for me. So with the overall energy with compassion, I almost said synergy but it's actually com compassion so whatever is happening with you person soul check it's time for you to kind of like tap into this compassionate energy be more caring to yourself i'm also feeling like there's something about the hands so you may have very healing hands <laughs> or you need to pay attention to who you touch okay Okay, who you touch there's a lot of energy exchange going on with you person so be careful um that you're not synthesizing with the wrong people or you're being too caring i'm hearing you're being too over caring to a situation here some of you may be into buddhism or you have like a buddha tattoo the buddha uh, uh i think that's the hand gesture of um, lights or golden light. <laughs> I gotta go back and study these cards again. It's like every time I look at it, something new. But uh, I'm hearing like this gentleness. We see the rainbow energy. So some of you may be went through a chaotic time, and this rainbow showing up is telling you that the storm is over. It's time to become peaceful with yourself once again. Once again, because, you know, healing is an ongoing cycle. When we think we, we've done it all or seen it all, nah. <laughs> Reds may be very powerful color to you at this time. I'm also seeing like warm, this warm hand. It's like hot. So you may have very warm hands or you have like this magical touch. Wow. Did you even know that about yourself? You have a magical touch. There's warmth. There's gentleness. There's healing. There's life giving energy of the sun, the setting sun. So that may be uh, energy or what's going to transpire. Soul check. You need that warmth. Some of you are trying to over care for someone or give them all this compassion and warmth. And you really need to give it to the situation that you're going through or yourself. So you could get through a situation. You know what I'm saying? So all channel messages, you could say it's girl talk. But if you're a guy that's tuning in, it's great to have you with us. All right. So uh, eight of crystals. Now, the first thing that jumped out to me was this diamond cut. This is like a yellow diamond. So yellow stones, uh, gold stones, yellow stones yellow vegetables or fruit may be very beneficial for you it's something about connecting to yellow yellow is like creativity so it's time for you to connect with your creative side some of you may need to eat fruits or vegetables or food that promotes growth in the brain tissue something about maybe you're a lefty some of you may be a lefty. The other day I was trying to use my left hand instead of my right hand so much just to like uh, activate my left side of my brain. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, it's possible. I'm also hearing with the left side of the brain, it's more reason. So you need more reason and compassion in a situation with yourself. You have the golden touch or you have this magical touch. There's healing energy that's around you. It could be in your crystals, your food, if you're into crystals. 
Some of you may be very poetic and a scientist, or you need to be more logical when it comes to this caring, giving energy of the compassion energy. So balance is needed. Evenness is needed because all of these crystals are very even. So let's see what's a core feeling or emotion that you may need to step into the role of or you need to like kind of pay attention. It doesn't hinder this balance or this evenness that you need to establish or achieve right now. We have inspired. Yeah, it's very artistic. We have a scientist. We have poetry. We have music writers, storytellers. Wow. So it's time to be more reasonable, possibly with your gifts or this stimulation you're feeling. It's a lot of mental stimulation. Look for things, people, places, ideas, things that are that moves you, that stimulates your creative juices with the aid of crystals. Bet. Some of you are like um, inspired by your spiritual gifts. Some, some of you may be very sciencey, so it's like um, spirit science. I've been getting that all day today. Spirit science learning the science the science behind buddhism or perfection we have grief so some of you may be still grieving a situation and that's helping you to kind of like fully let go hey all right so if you have been broken hearted because you were just too over caring with someone you kind of gave them your magic or your magical touch this could also be someone feels you know somebody's grieving you brought a lot of balance. You were very, very fair with this person. Some of you, this person tried to get back. They try to get even with you, but it didn't work. It's like you have like this light. You're very creative. Somebody feels brokenhearted. So some of you may be creating uh, art or music or um, I'm hearing inventions out of sorrow. Okay, that's cool, right? Use that juice to create, right? It's not every day you're going to be like happy and bubbly, like an airhead, right? Sometimes we need grief to kind of inspire us to, to keep going, right? To be more logical. Interesting. I'm seeing amethyst. I'm also seeing um, black tourmaline or tourmaline tiger eye as well. I have some uh, amethyst, some tiger eye, some um, smoky quartz. Yeah, let's do it. Let's bust on this tarot. Soul check. So if you're grieving right now and you're heartbroken, you know, let that inspire you. Let your creative juice flow. It's time to be very logical. Try challenging yourself by using your left side or your body because we have challenged. And let whatever, uh, whatever happens, what's the results? Stimulate your, inspire you to go. It's like you're trying to push yourself to go further. Change up the music that you're listening to. Whatever emotion or feeling or vibe you want to be in, go check out some music that inspires that. I'm hearing, um, what is that? By Slim Bodies. Super, super power. Super powerful. Super powerful. I love that song. <laughs> I like to listen to it when I'm shopping. <laughs> or when I'm like dressing. Put on my makeup. Some healing energy is around you guys. So if you're heartbroken, man, you're going to get some healing light or somebody's going to touch you. Get some massages. Some of you, somebody's missing your touch. They're very inspired. They could be writing songs about you or you're inspiring their spiritual talents or spiritual gifts. Super powerful. Yeah, somebody's super powerful. All right, let's bust on this tarot. What is going on? We're calling out some names out here. So we got a uh, Queen of Cups energy. Somebody could be missing your loving, nurturing uh, presence. You seem to read people's minds. So you may know, you may intuitively pick up what people need emotionally. You may be like this nurse or mom, like this hot mom, right? You're very emotional or you're grounded. You're earthy. A grounded, emotional person. You feel things very deeply. Some of you are feeling somebody's grief. You're sharing their grief. And you have like this healing Alexa. Maybe your name is Alexa. <laughs> 
Alexa, play Aretha Franklin. I'm every woman. No, just play. <laughs> Is that a no? That's Shaka Khan. I'm sorry, Shaka Khan and uh, Whitney Houston. I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want done, baby. I do it naturally. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> right? I can cast a spell. Only who can tell, right? That would need some part, y'all. Crazy. So some of you may have been very nurturing to someone, over caring. This person could have broken your heart, caused some sorrow, but you have a lot of healing energy within yourself. Don't fucking forget that. You know, maybe you need to take a spiritual bath or you need to take a nice bath. You may be into water. You need to do a lot of um, cord cutting with water. Maybe you need to talk to your water, right? Set the intentions, water, whole memory, Somebody misses you and they're very moved by you. You could be talking to them through music or music. Just them, those love scenes remind them steamy scenes in the movies. Remind this person of you. You may have long black hair or you have like really black eyebrows or something. Anyways, let's see what's going on. Some of you may need to achieve emotional balance. Be even in your logic and your emotions. Bet. Okay, so let's keep going. So check what's going on. Some of you are like the holy grail to someone. We have the magician. So be aware of your essence. This situation could be teaching you how to use your spiritual skills, your spiritual gifts, your talents. Some of you may have a fine voice. You may have highlights, some summer highlights. Look at you. <laughs> so with Magmus, Magmus, I guess that's how you say it. Did I say happy birthday to the Virgos? Totally sorry. But anyway, happy birthday to the Virgos in the house. So with the magician energy, some of you are totally aware of how you feel or you need to be, you need to focus on how you feel in this situation. It's time for emotional mastery. You need to master your emotions. Some of you could be uh, attracted to emotional manipulators or uh, unavail emotionally unavailable people because you just have all this love and healing energy within you. You're like a nurse or you help remedy people or heal them back to life. This could have been someone that was very, very emotionally manipulative and they broke their heart. You know, they broke yours, broke your heart. You may be very unsure on how this person feels about you. I'm hearing, I come bearing gifts to this very watery oceanic goddess. <laughs> could be this person may have a gift for you or they're trying to manifest they're trying to call you in you may be a genius or you have you're very balanced in your emotions because you're smart so you may be a genius you may be a very powerful manifester when it comes to your emotions you could have a very strong scorpionic or scorpio in venus or cancer in venus I feel like somebody wants to pop in. Somebody wants to pop in. They're very inspired by you, how strong you are emotionally. They know that you're emotionally deep. That you're a deep person. You're like Mother Teresa? <laughs> Your name may be Teresa. So check. What is going on? Somebody's trying to get your attention. They're trying to show off. They're trying to show how smooth and balanced they are. They may even come showing you some crystals. Or they share a lot of spiritual um, memes or uh, links, information. So check seven of wands. Wow. So you may be called in this situation to bring balance with this uh, card in the back. You may be called to kind of, you need to stand up for yourself with the seven of wands. Some of you may have a lot of suitors or you're, you're a lot of... Emotional manipulators are attracted to you because you're such an emotional person, whether you show it or not. You could be, you know, people could be studying the things that you're doing, you're posting and kind of, um, kind of like, it's somebody sussing themselves out here and somebody's picking that up and could be using that to manipulate, be very careful. This person could be someone that's already broken hearted and they could be very drawn to your very emotional, peaceful, but it's a strong, it's a strong 
um i feel like when this person looks at you they feel like you have not been jaded or tinted by the world so you have like this depth to you that this person is drawn to you it's like they lack that or they were broken hearted and never healed and they're drawn to you some of you may be an empath person and you're drawn to um narciss narcissists or they're drawn to you and it's like you have to kind of like be strong even in this unbalanced or imbalanced situation, you really have to stand your ground. This person may be very defensive and they kind of play on your emotions because they know you're probably soft hearted for this person. So they play on it. It could be very defensive or they get really grouchy and you're like, no, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. It's like you're very soft. But I feel like this is this is a part of you that this person um, brings out. I feel like you're a you're a grounded person. You're very strong, but you're deep. This person is they trigger you or they pull, they push you to become balanced in your own self with logic and your emotions. So this person may trigger you to play that role or to like master that part of yourself with their defensiveness. I'm hearing I'm I'm not as soft as I as as you think I am. So they may look at you as like a dove, a swan, but you're like a killer badass swan, right? Would just rip your fucking throat out. <laughs> oh, somebody's like calling your name. I'm hearing, um, say my name again and I'll make you buy a new one. Say my name, say my name when no one is around you. Say baby, I love you if you ain't running games. <laughs> queen of cups so somebody could be switching up the way how they were showing you love and you're like hmm trying to use your intuition on this person high priestess we have sagittarius taurus we have um the magician could be an aries gemini and virgo we have some seven of wands energy that could be like a leo or have leo placements okay yeah so high priestess, I feel like you're getting more clarity. The veil is lifting on some very tricky people or situation. I'm seeing the queen of wands side eye in the magician. So this person could make your heart go pitter patter, but you feel like they're going to be um, emotionally manipulative or they're going to take advantage of the love that you feel. So you keep it very quiet or hidden with the high priestess. Some of you could just be sitting back and letting this person run the show while you kind of like wait for for them to give you what you want because for the high priestess for me that's like a, a energy of sitting back and getting what they want some of you are very passive you could be the mistress no judgment some of you could be you know side thing side dealing sneak link on a mission whatever it's no judgment i feel like this person is trying to underestimate or undermine you and you're like this high priestess queen of cups earlier we had the high priestess with the queen of wands now we have the high priest with the queen of cups. So you're trusting how you feel. Your intuition is like on point and you're trusting how you feel when it comes to this person. I feel like you're very aware of their defensiveness and it's not emotionally disturbing as it once was because you're lifting the veil hell. It's like, forget about it. This person could also feel like you're hiding your emotions and this is why they are in this three of wands magician. So they could be waiting or like holding back and you know in their life they're juggling, they're making things happen, they're manifesting. They could even be manipulating other people and you know getting away with it. <laughs> you know this magician you know casting all kind of tricks and illusions and people falling for it and then when they come to you it's like you know, they're working their magic elsewhere. And then you're looking and you're like, I know what you're up to. I know what this is all about. I could see through that. I'm all knowing. And they're mystified because they want to know how, how you, what, how do you get that magic? How do you teach that trick? Teach me that trick. And you're like, what trick? And you're like, that trick. And they're like, what? You're like, what trick? This is just who I am powerful high priestess that's very serious about myself and taking care of myself like <laughs> you go on and on they're very inspired by you you're very emotional but you don't let your emotionals make you weak 
you have this balance between logic and emotions that makes you the high priestess. Bet. All right, so let's see what the seven of wands is. They could be feeling very sexual towards you or you kind of like move this person. You move them. They have seen it all, done it all, but when they look at you, you're moving. You stimulate this person to get even more trickier. That's fine. <laughs> you stimulate this person to kind of want to master things in their life. Sorry, you guys. I'm bumping my stand. We get the Empress. Holy shit. Let's, let's clarify the Seven of Wands with the Empress. Why are they so defensive against the Empress? You're like a princess or a prince. You're well polished. You're put together. Ooh, we have the lovers. Ooh, this is wild. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups again. You guys, I have the Seven of Cups. This is the third time this Seven of Cups shows up today. I have it on the back, bro. Seven of Cups is raining really hard, you guys. So a lot of people are being triggered to kind of um, review the past choices that they made to kind of look at the false starts, the false promises, whatever they're looking at the confusion this person we have the sun with the happy card so it's like the end game somebody's going to be extremely happy now so check someone is like intimidated by you if you're in this um some of you may be waiting or they perceive you as waiting for them to kind of come in and manifest or to take them take things in their own control or you're waiting for this person to build something here. For some of you, if, if that's not the case, I feel like in this soul check, a lot of you may be in this empress energy. If you're not, just wait and see is what I heard with the three of wands. Just you wait and see. There's balance. <clears throat> There's balance that needs to be achieved here. Which sanctifies and lovers you need to achieve balance you need to kind of embrace your divine feminine energy right now you may be spiritually transitioned and you may be in this spirit form of the divine feminine you're having visions whatever you may be even seeing this 11 11 um synchronicity that's telling you that whatever you're thinking about you're manifesting it at a fast rate some of your visions is very on point. Your intuitions and your visions is some sort of alignment. Hey? Some of you are standing up for what you believe in. Some of you could be feminist. Some of you could be really strong on the movement of the divine feminine, on healing the divine feminine energy. So some of you may be cycle breakers. Hey, Even if you're a guy that's watching... This is how you're manifesting. This is how you're mastering yourself because you're connected to unconditional love. You're being protective with the seven of wands and the high, and the, the empress. The empress is a protectress. Seven of wands, that's a motherfucker that would beat the competition out the water. So for some of you, you're in your own lane. Nobody can't compete with you. Now, some of you could be influenced by the twin flame movement with the lovers this could be a Gemini. We have Libra. We have strong Taurin energy. We have Leo with Aries. Seven of Cups. That could be strong Cancerian energy. Mm, Scorpio energy. My bad. So it's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Some of you are feeling your feelings. You're understanding your feelings. You're letting your feelings wash away. So you're no longer swimming in whatever emotions that was causing you to betray yourself with the decisions and choices you're making. I'm hearing wash your face and don't forget your neck back. Wash your face and don't forget your neck back. So washing of the face is very important to someone. Soul check. Teachable moment, hey. The seven of cups, when you get into balance and stay connected to your intuition and the unconditional love, it's almost like you would, it's like the best choices would immediately rise, like come into 3D from the poor choices. So when you come into this sacred feminine energy with the high, with, with the high priestess, the empress, and the lovers, when you come into balance with this sacred feminine energy, you're, be, you're going to become very intuitive. Some of you are going to be hella expressive with the seven of wands. Fuck the competition. Fuck whoever is trying to attack you. 
it's time to be expressive and compassionate the high priest uh sorry the empress is very high high passionate high compassionate energy free flowing radiant free flowing radiant so it's time to let whatever emotions whatever guilt or grief you have whatever heartbreak you have you have to love yourself think about times when you're happy when you're glowing when you're flowing remember how did you get there it's not because of this person it's not and some of you are giving this person a lot of power to control your emotions it's not because of this person. This person is waiting for you to step into all of this energy so they could be your equal part. It's almost like you're setting a tone here for a very important relationship with yourself and with someone. It's someone else hey. Someone that may be kind of like copying you or mimicking you or when you do something, it inspires this person to be very bold to show their genius side. You know who it is. This person may have hurt you in the past. You have been, you may have been very caring to this person. A little bit over caring. And they may have kind of like been very inconsiderate with the magician energy. Or they were tricky. Whatever tricky situation this person puts you in. Know that they're focusing on you. You build this person's confidence. Three of Wands, this person is in your visions. You're in their visions. This is crazy. Seven of Cups energy. This person may have caused confusion. Cause you to feel a little bit um, sad or a, a, sad a lot. Okay. So with the three of wands, this person may be long distance or there's a distance between the both of you right now. I feel like this person is happy with their choices. Whatever they're doing, they're happy with their choices. All right. They may not even want to explain to you why they're content with it. It's like, you're not my mom. I don't have to answer to you. You're not my mom. That's just a message that's come, coming through. I feel like this person may lack growth, so they may be very immature in the choices that they make. For some of you, this person made a choice, all right? Uh, I feel like at first they were extremely happy about it. They were extremely positive about it. But now I feel like they're defensive. They're feeling attacked by that choice or that decision that they made. So some of you, this person may be waiting for you to give them clarity or they're waiting for you to send them a sign that you want to work or get, get back into touch with them with the three of wands and the lovers. This person has foresight. I feel like this person is telepathically strong or psychic or they have a lot of foresight, but they don't necessarily know how to master it. They may be still learning how to master that as well. This could all be your energy, but it feels like a separate person here that's trying to catch up to the empress. They're trying to catch up. They're like running behind of you or they're going to be chasing you now after a long period of being defensive. Yeah. So if you're struggling with uh, self-doubt because of a heartbreaking situation that didn't go in your favor, it's now time for you to gain clarity by your emotions. Let them wash in and wash out. Take the wisdom. Trust how you feel. Your intuition is on point. Your foresight is, is on point. If you put in the effort or you decide to manifest this vision, I feel like if you put in the hard work and you set yourself up to receive the reward or you set yourself up to stand in your power, that's going to pay off. So if you failed at a long distance relationship or it was a failed relationship, have compassion for yourself that you did the best. You should have trust your intuition a little bit more and that may be part of the um, lesson from that relationship or situation is to trust your intuition more. You are a leader. You need to step into that leader, protectress energy, even if you're a guy that's watching. It's time to make better decisions. And I feel like it's going to pop out at you now that you're more intuitively trusting of yourself. 
So somebody's waiting for clarity from you because they're having self-doubts about their decisions that they made regarding you and this connection or vice versa. And I feel like this person may want to travel to you or they're waiting for you to tell them when you're going to travel back. It's something about catching up with you or they want to catch up with you if you travel back or travel somewhere. Some of you need to get ready to receive something here. And it has a lot to do with this lover's energy. I'm hearing this is the best decision of my life. Or somebody saying that to you. This is the best decision of my life. We have the happiness under the grief. So again, this grief feel or cycle or phase that you're going through. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay to grieve. It's healthy. It's natural. But it's also helping you or it's part of you letting go fully. So you could make space for things that's going to make you happy and content. Somebody has the magic touch. This person may touch you and just boom. Love at first sight. Some of you are moving from the maiden to the crone. No. The maiden, mother, and the crone is hey. So that could be a cycle, a phase that you're in. We have three different groups of feminine energy. Oh my gosh. This person is going to get it. If you're dealing with someone that was very defensive um, when it comes to their feminine energy, I feel like they're in their feminine energy right now. They're very inspired <clears throat> to come from a, a, a loving, a unconditional love. This is an unconditional loving situation. So sorry, guys. I had to take my inhaler. Took my breath away. So somebody's breath. Somebody could be wheezing. Somebody could be, find it hard to breathe. If this is a person that's trying to tap into your soul check, what did they want to say to my person in this magician three of wands? They're waiting while they're manifesting or mastering something in their own life. Growth, abundance, prosperity is coming to your doorstep. Three, 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 and the empress is a three as well. The threes may be very significant. Some of you may be seeing three sevens. So this magician wants you to know that they're growing, they're running into abundance, they're working on their prosperity as well. Some of you, this person sees you as more than enough. So there's going to be an abundance of happy moments. All right. It says, call me. So this person wants you to call them. They don't want to seem too eager, but they want you to ring them. They're telepathically or, um, yeah, they're telepathically trying to get you to call them. All right, this is double confirmation for some of you. You knew that. You knew that, that this person is waiting for you. Barefoot walking on the beach. So this is something that they're trying to like create or they're trying to set this tone. They want better days. And again, this could be the abundance that's coming. They're going to be better days, closer nights. Some of you, there's going to be more partying with this person. Some of you, is going to be like coffee meetups as well but this is possibly what this person is wanting to bring towards you some of you may meet a life partner at a coffee shop or at a party maybe this party is going to start at sunset or at sunrise when this party is finishing you're going to meet this person and they're going to have like warm hands or they're going to have like this buddha tattoo of a hand a palm the giant hand or something some of you, this person may be someone that's a fortune teller, a psychic, hey, at a party. Prophetic dreams freak me out. I'm telling you, somebody's seeing those dreams. Somebody's seeing those dreams. So somebody could be seeing these dreams and it's very vivid. It's very moving. It's inspiring, but they're also heartbroken that they may have been very defensive towards you. Some of you already had these dreams about this person and it's, it's, it's in fruition, it's happening. The veil is lifting with these prophetic dreams. Beware. We have booty calls. I can sense your presence. I receive confirmation about you daily. Somebody would like you to know that. We have 1221. Anything manifested start in the mind. Which thoughts are you focusing on? So we have booty calls. So this person may want to just have talk up for some sex. This may be someone that you may have been doing that for a while and now feelings has grown and this person is like wanting your attention or you're being really smart because you're catching feelings. Listen, 
no judgment so if you guys have been hooking up it was no strings attached or this person wants that from you and something else is growing hair you make this person very happy or this person may find out that you're in town and it's making them very happy uh that they want to hook up all right so some of you may be wanting to know like where is this going is this just a booty call or does it have a future to it we have beware if you're considering letting someone who took you for granted back in your life they need to come courageous authentic consistent honest and open to commitment all right free game right have a lot of uh, cards that turn over I wasn't aware of. We have conflict and competition. So this person may be very aware that's a lot of competition for you. Or, you know, again, you may, this person is bringing a lot of conflict and competition. I don't want to get close enough to hurt. Arms length distance feels right for the time being. Someone needs an extra day between Sunday and Monday. So if you need to rest. If your body, if you're feeling very moody, if your sleeping patterns has changed, it's time for you to kind of like uh, organize that, prioritize and organize. Somebody's unable to commit because there's a lack of communication and somebody's feeling stuck. We have unavoidable changes. Uh, uh, resistance could bring suffering. All right. So resistance to your intuition could bring somebody suffering here or a poor choice or a false start. We have end of a life stage or relationship is very intense and unexpected. So these could be all things that you're moving out of with the heartbroken energy. There's somebody wanting to return. Someone that may have rejected you, may have called you crazy because of your intuitive guidance. Someone that may be very intimidated by your emotional power. That you have on them. And this is why they just want to hook up. They don't want to get too deep. Hey? They fear heartbreak as well. But there's a balance that you bring. There's a fairness. If this could feel like somebody wants to be even. They want to take you out. But again, I feel like if you're over emotional. Hey, you may need to kind of like be. Um, or you need to ask the right questions with this person. And the high priestess. Wow. Some of you, this person may feel like they're just not good for you. We have loosen your grip, baby. So it's been coming up twice. Loosen up that grip, baby. It's time to let go and move on. You deserve it. So this could be moving on to how things are right now, currently with you. You could also be kind of like loosen up your expectations on this person. Some of you have a lot of control here, but you don't see that. It's because this person is defensive and they're very conflicting or they cause confusion. So they're kind of pushing you off track. They don't want you to pick up a scent on how powerful or how much power you have over them. So keep that in mind. Just to wrap this up, we're going to get two more cards. If you want to big up the Hourglass channel, do just... Do check out the description box below uh, where you could hit that tip jar and ejectly send me some donations as well. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Let's see about this lovers and grief. Who is grieving? It's okay to say goodbye to someone with hopes to one day say hello to another. So I got this song uh, that came to me on my YouTube feed. I can't remember the name of the artist or the title, but it goes something along the lines of when I had you, it's almost like this person is saying, um, it's time for me to move on or somebody's feeling like it's time for me to move on. I feel like, uh, they want to date someone else or somebody thought that dating someone else would help them forget about when they had you. Now, the thing is, that this person is stuck on you because you're so moving, you're so stimulating. This person could also feel like they're in love with how you love them or they have a sense of love hey, to you. They feel like you guys could be equal or there's some sort of long-term situation that could possibly happen. This is how I'm feeling. Like they are sensing that. But some of you may have decided to kind of like be smart about this person some of you this you may have moved on and you're happy with who you're happy with this person feels like they can't be that person you're happy with so in that song when i had you they're saying uh you found someone i could never be and i see that you're happy maybe now it's time for me to meet someone new to kind of distract me from when i had you so that could be a situation big up on yourself 
If you know that song, maybe you need to check that lyric out or that song, but it came up on my feet and it was talking about this guy know that somebody moved on. They could never be that person who that person moved on to. You look extremely happy now. And, you know, maybe it's time for me to move on to someone new, but I could never love that person because I had you. So that may be a situation. Take it how it resonates. It says, call me. This person wants you to call them. Or you're calling them. Yeah, you're calling them through the grapevine. <laughs> I heard it from the grapevine. Longer would you be mine, California raisins. I don't want to get close enough to hurt. So this person know that they broke your heart. And they know they're very capable or, you know, successful to heartbreak. And this is why they're keeping you at a distance. It just feels right. Uh, for some of you, this person may be keeping you at a distance because the heartbreak causes this person to suffer or it causes them to have karma and they're well aware. So they're like keeping you at a distance like, oh my God, I don't want to be around you and be responsible for hurting your feelings. All right. You're rich, a special kind of love. <laughs> so they may be feeling that towards you or you feel like this towards them or you guys uh, left a very heartbreaking situation and you're coming up on a very special kind of love that's blissful, beautiful, that has the golden touch or very healing power to it. Love it. I did say two more cards and look at me now, a whole book, right? One more card. I can't remember my mother. I have no memories of her. I don't like to admit it, but I feel empty from it. You're the main, the main character. You're the hero. The hero was always you. So it's time for a lot of you to save yourself. Some of you may not have had your mother around and therefore you didn't get this nurturing um, mother type of bond. And I feel in like because of that, you may be making very poor choices or this is the person, even if their mother was alive, they didn't give them this affectionate, supportive uh, connection or vibe. And I feel like you may have been this one or you had a mother that you were not really close to and this person kind of triggered that lesson to be learned. So they may have, you know, uh, resembled some triggers that your mother and you had and you know it's time for you to learn it with this person all right so there's a lot of mother matriarchal paradigms being closed healed and released all right so yeah i feel like you guys are learning a, a very huge a major powerful lesson of unconditional love how that helps you master and embrace this essence of oneself some sort of mastery is happening here so so check that was teachable moments uh alongside with soul check how are you feeling today all right so i'm gonna leave it there big up on yourself like subscribe share hit that notification bell again if you want to big up the hourglass channel check out the description box below and how you could do that and I'm going to see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.